come together, be great, be light. In June 2002, the Women of a New Tribe exhibition premiered at the Afro-American Culture Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. The exhibit is a photographic study of the physical and spiritual beauty of Black women. It is an attempt to see Black women in a new light and a new way. Since its premiere, the exhibition has traveled to a number of cities around the country. In February 2010, the exhibition made its European debut when the U.S. Embassy in Slovakia opened Women of a New Tribe in Bratislava. An important part of the exhibition is the inclusion of images of women from the hosting community. For the Cleveland edition of Women of a New Tribe, over 25 subjects were photographed. This incredible group of women included business professionals, educators, and artists. Listen as some share their thoughts on real beauty and being a part of the Women of a New Tribe project. Real beauty can be defined by African-American women because we come in an amazing palette of hues. Our hair has all different kinds of textures. And I think our beauty can be captured in the opening lines of a poem by Mona Lake Jones in which she says that we're a room full of sisters like jewels in a crown, vanilla, cinnamon, and dark chocolate brown. But I think real beauty is not about what we look like, it's about who we are. It's about strength, it's about courage, it's about love, it's about all of those things inside of us that make us wonderful women. So it's not about what the world sees, on, looks at us and sees on the outside, it's about who we are on the inside that really defines true beauty. And I believe that beauty is giving. And it's the spirit of a person that comes through no matter where they are, no matter what they look like, no matter what they call themselves. They always give. And what they're really about. And I feel that um, most of us have something inside that is beautiful. There's no one that doesn't have some beauty within them. And that's what we need to try to project and show to other people. doesn't have very much to do with your physical appearance. Uh, real beauty comes from your heart and the way you interact with people and um, uh, the way you feel about yourself as well as others. Your respect for others, I think, characterizes the beauty 
uh, within the individual. So it was great to just hear of all of the women's, their passions, the things that get them up in the morning, the things that they dream about at night. It was great to hear this. A lot of times we hear about struggles and challenges and obstacles that we all have to face and surmount. But it's always great to hear those unlimited possibilities and the things that we've achieved. first and I had to uh, pretty much be persuaded to be a part of the project and I am very happy that I did because I enjoyed the entire experience. I loved uh, meeting the other women that are a part of this exhibit and I would have to say that uh, the end result I am very pleased with. The photographer did a wonderful job and he really made me look really good. So I'm excited about the project. I think it's an honor. And this idea of a new tribe, uh, is, it has a special meaning for me because as someone who teaches history, I know that tribalism isn't always thought of as uh, being a positive thing. And sort of, that's what's wrong with you people. You can't get along with each other. But for me, when I hear tribe now, I think of uh, something special, um, a language, a way of speaking or singing or worshiping that says that um, your way is not exactly like your neighbor's way, and that's okay because it says diversity. It would be in this exhibit. I was so uh, excited, so honored uh, to carry a torch for other women in the city. And from the smelting pot, they could look at each one of us, different people, and probably find something of themselves, either in part of us or all of us. And I just want to thank Oh, happy day. And this is a happy day. We're celebrating women who are wonderful, exciting, beautiful, and accomplished. We're standing in our power. And one of the themes of black women has been servitude. And this is about laughter and joy and our gifts, sharing them through wonder, through talking, through baking, through working and out of our willingness to share our beauty inside and out. That's why I really love the women of a new tribe.